Higher energy prices have given oil surge a threefold increase in profit, and the producer is using the momentum to push ahead with its LNG expansion plans, aiming to more than double exports from Papua New Guinea. Oil surge managing director Peter Button joins us now live from Sydney. Uh, Peter, just give me a sense of how you wrapped up the last year, but more importantly, how that sets the stage for what you can do for the remaining three quarters of this year. Well, obviously, uh, 2007 res 2017 results were, were very much driven by uh, our record production um, out of our PNG LNG project and, uh, and our oil fields. Um, uh, and so I, that, that's a good start. A tight cost control, but obviously driven by a significant increase in both gas and oil prices, 24, 21 and 24% up on uh, the previous year. So that gives us a, a, a very strong uh, position financially and operationally to, uh, and a great platform to, to uh, further expand our business, concentrating in Papua New Guinea on LNG expansion, but also uh, to bring our yeah. uh, new Alaskan oil assets into uh, into development. I mean, I'm looking here at, at some of the details of recent cooperation. I mean, you're looking at uh, cooperation with ExxonMobil and Total. Again, this cooperation, I mean, how is that coming along and when are we going to see some of the gas come to market? Well, look, uh, we've got very strong relationships uh, built over many years with, with ExxonMobil, the operator of PNG LNG. ExxonMobil's done an outstanding job in, in uh, bringing that to market and, and in an operational sense uh, since uh, start-up in 2014. In recent times, uh, sitting with both Total and, and ExxonMobil, uh, we've been discussing the concepts for, for further LNG expansion and we announced today that uh, that concept involves uh, the development of two trains on behalf of uh, Papua LNG, uh, where Total operates, and one train on behalf of PNG LNG uh, and a Pinyang gas field, which will underwrite uh, the volumes to uh, to build a, a third train, totalling uh, all three trains, eight million tonnes. Now that concept will be taken to our jo respective joint venture partners over the, the next few weeks, and then to the PNG government, where we anticipate sitting down with them over the the, the next few months to uh, finalise the various agreements, gas agreements, fiscal issues, etc., yeah. which can lead to a potential feed decision at the end of this year. A lot of your projects are built around very long, long time horizons. Uh, the oil markets and, and the global environment is at an inflection point. Uh, where do you see oil and gas prices going this year for LNG? Uh, look, uh, we've seen uh, very, very strong demand for LNG in, in our region, at least over the last uh, 12 months or so. The LNG business has fundamentally changed over the last few years where it's now a world commodity. So there is, um, um, given the volume of, uh, of LNG that's available in, in spot market and trading volumes, uh, it, this is a connected market around the world. Uh, PNG LNG is a very competitive um, uh, provider of LNG into our region uh, and is seen to be a very high quality product. So uh, as far as we see, um, the oversupply of, uh, of LNG into, uh, into Asia Pac and, uh, uh, and indeed around the world with capacity that was sanctioned a number of years ago is now winding into the market. But we also see with demand that that oversupply situation will go the other way in the early part of the next decade. Uh, we hope that there'll be more LNG projects sanctioned in the next few years such that there's a balanced supply-demand scenario and prices don't go too high. But uh, at the end of the day, um, we do think uh, long term LNG pricing uh, needs to be balanced with supply and demand. And that, that's good for us because we're at the bottom end of the cost curve uh, and projects that, sh that are marginal shouldn't be sanctioned in that space. So, yeah. uh, at the end of the day, though, um, we play the game like everybody else. Oil, oil and gas is, a, uh, yeah, is, is very much a, a volatile market.